Hello everyone, I'm Rihem Ganesh. Today, I will show you how to make a cactus. Let's start. Here is a cactus. That, that's how it should look like. It's too simple. Yeah, just I uh, used the uh, align and edit poly modifier to modify the shape. Just align. I feel it's too simple. I don't need to show you how to do it because it's uh, simple. You can export it as it is, or uh, for me, I prefer to uh, just export these two parts only because this will save me time in uh, sculpting. You will see how. Because I will only sculpt this part, this arm of the cactus, and then after I'm done with it, I will duplicate it and place it in different areas around the cactus. This will save a lot of time for sculpting. But if you prefer to export it, all of it, export all of it as it is, uh, it's okay. But for me, I, I think it's better to save time and just duplicate this part and place it in uh, different places around the cactus. I export it as OBJ. Now that's how it look in the in the ZBrush. You notice the subtool is uh, just one mesh, or the mesh is just one subtool. Even if I didn't attach it in uh, 3D Max, and now I don't need to dynamic mesh it. I'm just gonna use a subdivision, divide. I'm just gonna use divide. Uh, here I'm using a damn standard uh, with the lazy mouse. And symmetry, of course. I'm just drawing it uh, too fast, just to show you how. Yeah, let's pretend that it's done. If you want to add some thickness, you could... Uh, now I'm using the move tool just to uh, drag these parts out a little bit. Yeah, that's okay. You can use any other brush that do the same thing. I feel I need to add some more thickness to it. I'm gonna use standard. You could use blob brush for it if you want. Yeah, I just wanna make it more thick. That's all. Here I'm using layers because I, pref I prefer to use layers all the time, maybe more than morph sometimes. Because when you use layers, you could... Uh, um, go back you could decrease the intensity of the sculpting you did or you could increase it by duplicating the layer and uh, now let's say i'm done with the cactus i'm gonna split it because it was just one mesh and i will duplicate this arm or this part i'm gonna scale it down or and place it in a different area now i'm fixing the pivot I'm just showing you a really fast how you could do it. Um, now let's look at it and that's how the high poly should look like. Uh, if you're happy with your high poly and uh, you don't need to decimate it, you could just export it. But for me, sometimes I feel the high poly is too dense. I prefer to use Decimation Master for it. Uh, be sure that you're using pre-process current first and then give it a number. Now for the low, now for the low poly, I will do the same thing. You could um, you could retopology the the cactus, but for me, I'm just gonna use decimation for it the same way the plugin decimate. But this time, I'll give it a very low number, like 0.05. Um, I'm gonna export it to Unreal in the end, so it doesn't matter if it's already triangulated. It's a game asset, so it's, there is no problem about having dress in the model. Yeah, here is the low poly. It's too simple to unwrap this one. Just add a seam in the middle. Wrap it. I don't need to show you how. It's, it's too simple. Now, um, bacon the details from high poly to low poly and warm set. Okay, after I'm done with baking, uh, this will be time for needles. 
um, here I'm just I'm showing you how to place the needles and be sure that you have variation in the scale and the rotation. You don't want it, all of it to look the same. How to do the needle? Just like a cylinder or a cone. And uh, I baked it on a cord, just one cord. I baked it on it and that's it. And you duplicate the cord like four or five times and then place it everywhere around the cactus. You could use it, you could do this in a more optimized way. Uh, for me, I used many cords, but you could do it using uh, just one cord and add some more edges to it and bake uh, the needle on one cord, like do four or five needles on the high poly and bake all of them on one cord and then use this cord. Other than I'm using here like five cords for, for one. And of course, I'm using alpha for it, just a mask. I'm gonna speed up this part. It's just the same, keep doing it over and over again. That's okay. Now that's how it looks. Now let's go to Sabis and Painter. I did the baking in Marmoset just for normal map and sometimes ambient occlusion too, because I feel it takes less time than subs and painter, especially for ambient occlusion. But for normal map, I prefer to bake it in the marble set because I have some more control over the baking. And I will bake the other maps. Nothing special here is the needles. Okay, let's look at the base color. Let's have a look on the reference. We are seeing um, some different color variation, and that's what I will start with. But let's look at the texture. The first thing I'm doing, just choosing a color. I will pick my color from the reference. I use my color picker. That's my base color. Then I will just duplicate the layer and pick a different tint of green from the reference and use a grunge map for it, which is the way to apply this different tint of green to the best, the base color. Is as you see, just I'm using a grunge concrete map for it. You could see the difference just to break the base color a little bit. Like you can't have just a solid green. Of course you wanna have variations. Yeah, here I'm just picking a different tint of green. Okay, I will... Yeah, I'm, I play with the balance and the contrast. Yeah, I could play with the value. Uh, I'm sorry that the screen didn't show the whole thing. Okay, just I'm gonna duplicate my layer and pick a different tint of green. This time it will be... Um, a lighter green and I will use just a black mask and a grunge map for it. Yeah, black mask, add fill, grunge map. I can choose any grunge map I have here in just a Samsung painter. Yeah, I'm doing the same with dirt, just a color I pick from the reference and the black mask and this time I used a generator. I used a position generator just to choose where to place my color here or my dirt. I want it to be in the bottom of the cactus. That's why I used this one. And you can use a paint layer and use a brush for it just to break the look of the color a little bit. Yeah, you don't want it, you don't want to add a layer or a color that's solid. You always want to break your texture, and paint layers is a good way to do it, just to delete some information of it. I'm duplicating the same layer again with different values, and all of them are just some base color variation 
I'm doing it over and over again with different tint of green that I'm picking from the reference. The same way, just black mask, add fill, choose a grunge map. Sometimes it's desaturated uh, tint of green, sometimes it's too saturated, sometimes it's dark, light. And all the time I'm just using a uh, grunge map for it and playing with the values and parameters. Now I'll start to add some height variation. The same way, just a tint of green I picked from the reference and a black mask and you could use you could use a grunge map that works for it. Here I'm using grunge leak spots, I'm playing with the balance and I made it 100% contrast. I'm using paint layer to delete some information. You don't want it to look like it's procedural, like it's ready-made. Break it just a little bit. Here I'm duplicating the height variation. You can duplicate the layer if you like it and give it different values. I'm using here the, the height variation with uh, a different look. I just wanted to give it a subtle look. Uh, the resolution is not that good, but I can tell you it's there. Like there's a small hold of height everywhere around the cactus. Yeah, uh, you could add spots and the, just use the same way. Black mask, grunge map here. I'm using grunge spots. You could decrease the value. You don't want it to look too intense. You want it to blend nicely together and to give it just a subtle value. And... Now you can add just some surface noise to break the surface just a little bit. Let's look at the reference again to see what should I do next. I think I, will sh I should do some more variation and add more intense colors. The same way, I pick a more saturated color, I use a black mask, grunge map for it. I feel the cactus need the more variation. You would notice all colors called the same, all of them called color variation. Of course, and I'm not just playing with the color, I also play with the roughness too, but that's all. Sometimes, of course, if I'm, if I'm doing height information, yes, if it's like uh, something will be peeled or added to the surface, I will use uh, the height, but other than this, I'm just playing with color and roughness, nothing more. I'm adding yellow, light green play with the edges to add damage to the edges with generator dirt i'm adding different paint layers just to delete some information from some areas That's how it looks. I keep adding more subtle details to it. You could always change uh, the mode to blend, to blend, to choose how you want your layer to blend with other layers. So here I'm using, you could use a screen, just play with it to find what works best for you. I'm using AO sometimes just to give it, just to make, uh, to, to increase the effect of AO of the ambient occlusion around the mesh. Uh, and that's it. Just some colors, just some roughness. And that's it for now. That's the texture for the cactus. We will look at the needles first right now. What we need to do is just add an opacity because I'm using a mask for it. That's how it looks after baking. Just the AO and normal map. I use opacity. I found my mask is flipped. That's why I used invert. Now I will do the color for the needle. Just doing the same thing, picking the color from the reference, picking different tint of colors from the reference too, and using grunge map to blend it. Uh, I also uh, play with a roughness for each layer too. Not all layers have the same roughness. Some yellow layers, some brown, some red, maybe just a slight tint of it. 
And now I can call the cactus done. Um, let's look at the render. For me, I prefer to choose uh, to mock all map for the environment. I think it gives you more real colors. You could choose any, choose any one if you want. Uh, you can override the resolution to see it in a better resolution, so you can see uh, your details more. Nothing special. I'm trying to find a better angle, and uh, you can play with the environment rotation to to see your uh, your assets from different angles. I like to use vignette too. Uh, yeah, make sure you're using uh, PBR Metal Rough with Alpha Blending because if you didn't use this one, I don't think your opacity map will work. So you're gonna need it. Actually, for me, I use it for all texturing, for all assets I'm texturing. Now I can call my cactus done for now, for the texture. Wait till to the next part where I will import it in Unreal. Thank you for your time. I hope you like it. And if you have any comment, I would like to know it. And if you have any question, I would like to answer it. Thank you so much.